Welcome back to the PP Podcast, the Planet Planet Podcast. What's up, guys? What up? Episode 5. That is your host. Axel Alexi Menez, and that's your other host. Daryl. Cool. I'm trying really hard not to say it like I did last time. Uh, again, was, same response. That's all right, man. Which was Daryl. <laughs> it is funny, though. We are starting like almost exactly the same. Yeah, that's good. Consistency. Yeah, yeah I, I guess. I guess. I gotta keep my eye on my camera. I know. Um, it, uh, us in these technical difficulties. Yeah, I swear. So every session it's something. So this is the first take. I mean, no, no, no. The third take, pretty much, yeah, because third take. for some reason my camera kept shutting off on us. Mm-hmm. While we were doing the show, we did this. This is the third time already. This is the third introduction of the night, basically. And we're still uh, nailing it. Yeah, we're still nailing Always. it, dude. Still fucking nailing it. Hard boner mm. and all. First sip of the day. You're drinking water this time. I am drinking water. So are you, are you trying to clean up too now? No, I'm having one right after this. Oh, you are? Yeah. What are you drinking tonight? Another Truly. No, I'm sipping on whiskey tonight. I don't want to drink too much. You're a whiskey guy. Whiskey's cool. Yeah, and, and plus, um, I recently got these little, uh, uh, you know how in whiskey, the, the big ice cubes? Oh, shit. Yeah, I got those little, uh, the molding for that. And oh. then, like, circle uh, sp- uh, spheres. So you're drinking your shit on the fucking rocks. Yeah, on the dude. rocks. Yeah, yeah, dude, like, fuck. It's classy, man. yeah, and it's it doesn't fill you up. I mean, if you don't want to drink too much on, like, a weekday, just right. having a, a little bit of uh, whiskey here and there is... It's nice. It gets the job done. Yeah, I, I used to enjoy that stuff. I used to enjoy a little bit of bourbon on the rocks. Oh, wow. Bourbon. bourbon. Yeah, yeah. Bourbon, oh, yeah. a little bit of whiskey. Sometimes a little bit of rum. You know. Rum? Yeah. But every once in a while. I wouldn't I wouldn't drink liquor that much. Yeah. But uh, if I wanted to feel, you know, like James Bond. <laughs> like a little, a little. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'll do it. But I'm just not that type of dude. I'm, I'm a fucking... I mean, not anymore because I'm sober now. Yeah, yeah. But, um... When I was a drinker, I was a fucking beer guy, man. Yeah. Beer all the time. It's fucking Beer's awesome. cool. Beer's cool. I, I don't I think they're all cool and they're all different. What are your favorite beers? Um like uh from places? I love um We're not talking that fancy smancy fucking hip shit. Like we're not talking breweries. We're talking uh, 7-Eleven shit. What is your favorite beer? <laughs> Fancy Smash. Hey, you said beer, and I'm going to give you some fucking beer uh, options right here. Yeah, but ain't nobody going to know what you're talking about. Yeah, man. Uh, people know. Um, man, I'm blinking out on names right now. Uh, well, Ballast Point's like a super popular one. They always. I started off drinking those, man. Those <laughs> Ballast, are, you started off drinking Ballast yeah. Points? I don't believe that. I believe IPAs, you started off drinking. Because I remember when I first started drinking and then like uh, going to bars, like I was like, I already seen like the Modellos and like all the, the typical ones you see. Um, and then, and then I had, like, I, I started drinking with coworkers. So my coworkers would be like, Hey, try this. And I'm like, Whoa, what is this? And it tasted gross, obviously. And then like, and then I just remember starting re- reading names, beer names. And I was like, Oh, this is Ballast Point. I'm like, Dan, I'm going to Ballast Point. Like every time I go to bars and everything, I was just drinking tons of Ballast Point. Shit, dude. Yeah. And they're cool. They have a, I mean, they have, t- yeah, they have IPAs, fucking all that stuff. I remember my first favorite beer mm-hmm. was... Was what was it? Oh, Dos Equis. Oh yeah, do- yeah I remember, remember that. that shit? Mm-hmm. I used to always come through with Dos Equis. Yeah, Dos Equis. Dude. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Dos Equis yeah. were those are good. Those are all right. Yeah, they're good. They're refreshing actually. They're yeah. Really, but and now I barely. Well, of course, because I don't drink. Because I'm fucking twenty diet. Twenty. What day is it? Twenty nine days sober now, dude. On the 29th. 29th. That means tomorrow. You're twenty nine on the 29th. Thirty days sober. Twenty nine days sober. Yeah. Well, I mean, I started November first. That's when I decided. Right. To not do anything. That's good. Yeah. Cool. But uh, tomorrow sparks a month, which pretty much makes tonight a 30th. month. 30th. Yeah. So I am a month sober. You know how you should celebrate? <laughs> how? <laughs> By not drinking a, a beer. Well, for shit, man. I already quit. Yeah. So I might as well have one. I know, right? <laughs> hey, you already got a, uh, okay, you already I already got a month. I already quit, so fuck it. No. That's funny. That's um, cool. But yeah, um, I played a little bit of drums after work. and. Okay. What did you play? I was uh, playing Led Zeppelin. There's a song that I was like, oh, man, I want to learn the drums to this. And uh, I just I was figuring it out. Is that how you go about practicing? You're just like, damn, I love the drums to this fucking track. I'm going to fucking try to learn this shit. And yeah. And just in your room or wherever practicing that shit. Yeah, because there's like some songs where like it requires a lot of like – like you have to listen to things like over and over and over and mm-hmm. like it's really complicated. Yeah. So there's some songs where I'm like, I love, I want to learn that song, but I'm like, man, I do not have the time right now to like, <laughs> like 15 minutes of work is just me. 15 minutes is just me like warming up, and then and then I can really start getting into like, 
learning. So, so like right now I'm picking songs that I'm like, oh, like I know this Led Zeppelin song that's not too hard. I mean, it's tricky, but it's not too hard where it's like it's going to take a lot of energy out of me. So, yeah, I, I spent like 20 minutes at home just uh, trying to do this, this uh, Led Zeppelin song. That's cool. You know, it's weird. I've been doing the same thing with bass. Oh yeah, you see? Yeah. Just learn, the, just fi- find the songs that you like that you feel like you can kind of like maybe like oh I can I can learn that. Dude, yeah, I- I'm trying to learn uh, "What You Won't Do for Love" by Bobby Caldwell. Oh wow, yeah, I- I'm trying to fucking think- hard. Yeah. Oh yeah. He- yeah, man. It's like how does the song go? It goes, brown, brown. I can't do it right now. I've it's, it's actually been like a week. <laughs> you're just gonna get. <laughs> I was gonna get into it. But yeah, no, you're gonna go. I was gonna say like, which one is it? Like, yeah, go for it. Um, no, I can't do it. But yeah, that song and and I f- I believe it's. I think it's called Snot. Snot? By Alex G. I think that's what it's called. Oh, Alex G. Oh, nice. Those two songs really fucking into the bass. Like, so I'm just trying to learn. Dang, that's good. Learn bass. Bass is a bass and drums, man. They go like this. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah, dude. I'm in my room slapping that shit. Like, just slapping. Hey, respect. Yeah, yeah. Bass is is pretty fucking hard if you really want to, like, Dive into, yeah, slapping that bass and Hell shit, man. Yeah, yeah that, shit's, that, shit's, yeah. that shit goes hard. It's crazy because when you see people jamming, like, fucking, like, hard and, yeah. like, they're just into it, mm-hmm. it looks like a liberating, like, fucking, like, bam, bam, yeah. bam, 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 but then when you fucking do it. You're just like, this is not shit, liberating. It hurts your fucking <laughs> fingers. It's just like, wow, this is a lot of work. Dude, yes, it hurts your fucking fingers. And it's like, I think once you get it, like, yeah. once you get good at it, it's just, it's like nothing. Well, think about it like you. Like, uh, you're a singer and... Uh, I've done my singing in the past, but man, like I cannot go like I can't go back to back singing. I, I lose my voice. I just I, I don't know how uh, people like are able to just scream at the top of their lungs and then just uh, finish the set and just be talk to you right after. Like it's like, oh, yeah, you know, like, yeah, no, like it's normal. I'll tell you one thing. For the most part, it's not liberating at all. Yeah. Like it's because it's like. When I when I'm jamming with crew dudes, yeah. shout out crew dudes by the way. That's, yeah, crew dudes, go follow them. Yeah, that's my punk. Oh jeez, man. Um, funk punk. We do funk punk music. There now. you go. Funk something punk. like that. But it is funk punk. Yeah, but when yeah. I, but whenever I say funk punk though, people are always like, "What you mean, like like old Red Hot Chili Peppers?" Like, no, dude. Oh, that's that's good. That's well, not good that you're being, uh, you know. It's related like, to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Modern funk. But you punk. are bringing like a you got you guys really are kind of like. Uh, embarking on a, an actual different kind of funk and a different kind of punk yeah we're trying yeah, to make we're trying it's to cool make, we're trying to make punk rock music that you can dance to, yeah dude. it's cool it's cool it's punk rock music with a bop to it dude. Mm-hmm. that's how i always describe it i agree i agree but yeah um yeah doing doing vocals and in, in crew dudes is like it depends man because sometimes dude we have jam sessions mm-hmm. where we get together in a room and like we'll just jam a fucking song like yeah we'll just play a song usually it's like an old one but it's it's usually when we just go right into a song, we jam it out, and it's just like right when we're in the middle of it. Yeah, it's like we're going ham. We're yeah. like the world around us doesn't exist. Yep. It's just us four dudes in this fucking song. You guys have like, um, dude, I've been there. It's it's awesome. It's like, it's like you are so locked in, and you are so. Uh, yeah. You guys are you guys. It, it honestly, it's better than a performance. It's like an energy. You guys, yeah. I mean, hey, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember re- creating the first album of the last band that I had, and and those that album we came up with those songs like half of the songs like what band? Yeah, uh, Penalty. It was okay, Penalty. You're in Penalty. I was in Penalty. Yeah. Penalty was like uh. They're like hardcore punk, like hardcore, hardcore like punk. Uh, DB punk and all that. Yeah, leaning toward like power violence. Yeah, it was power violence. Yeah, there's some power violence elements to it. A lot uh, of uh, wh- crust elements. Your music is on penaltyhc.bandcamp.com. <laughs> it is. It is on. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Penalty. It's been a minute. I haven't, haven't uh, shouted it out in a yeah, minute. You heard the link. Yeah. Yeah. There's a link in the fucking bio. So go check it out. But here, the, the drums in that shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. That's this guy. Yeah. That was me. Fucking. So, uh, so we, okay. So we made those songs. I remember like uh, our guitarist coming to practice and, and being like, yeah, yeah, I got some riffs like, you know, and then, um, uh, our singer was just like had a notebook full of like lyrics, so he was just like, "All right, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can." Uh, he's like, "Just start, and, and then I'll see what I can throw in." And I remember just like by the end of like a couple hours of just jamming, we had like five, six songs already like nailed. We were just like, "Damn, those are our songs! Like, these are the ones that we're gonna." And, and dude, and that's what I'm saying. We were, it was just practice, but us making those songs when you're in there, like Jesus, like uh, you're in it. You're yeah. just like the energy's just yeah. insane. But what's what to me what's beautiful is like. 
when you come in and you play a song you guys already know and yeah. you guys already oh, yeah, yeah, have, yeah. it's kind of like your own personal classic. Right. And like the experience for us is we go into a jam sesh, right? We just go in and we're like, all right, let's just do our set. Mm -hmm. And it'd probably be like the second or third song usually. And we don't really think about it. We just go in. We're just like, all right, let's play this one next. And then we play it. Right. And then in the midst of it, where I'm dancing my ass off. Oh, yeah. Donovan's shredding the vibes, like the vibes as perfect up. as he can. Yeah. Omar's just fucking slapping the bass like Dun. insanely. Brandon's just nailing everything on drums. And usually we don't really realize how beautiful of a moment it was until after we're done. And then we're just like, fuck, that yeah. was fucking dope, dude. Those that, are crazy. Those feel good. The fuck I, yeah, it's amazing. It's great. Yeah, yeah those are... Those are uh those are what you strive for, man. Being in a music, being a musician, is having moments like that. Yeah, fuck like, yeah. Dude. As many as you can, honestly. Dude, yes. Yeah, even if it's um, practice at a show. Yeah, it's cool. Cause honestly, dude, like, uh, I can honestly tell you, like, the the greatest moments of us playing together, uh, I would say would be, like, in in um, uh, during a band practice as opposed to like, yeah, actually playing live. Like, we've we've played some pretty good sets live, but like. Damn, like when you're just together and it's you and your band, you're just creating in a small yeah. room and all you just it's just, you're just fucking living in that shit. It's sick. Dude. That's cool, man. But yeah, man, we're we're uh crew dudes are, are writing a record now. We're like yeah, yeah. dude, we're eight new tracks yeah. into a 13 track record. You guys are chugging along, man. Yeah. You guys are chugging along, along. cuz I remember when you guys uh when you first started saying that like, "Hey, we're going to have a different sound." And I heard some of the recordings on your phone, and I was like, damn, this shit's sick. This shit's good. Yeah, we're going from... Because for the longest time, dude, since 2010, that's I think we've started, like, possibly in 2009. Yeah. If, but maybe maybe 2010. I could be wrong. But Crew Dudes, we started then, and we've been a band for 12 years. But since we started, we've only come out with, like, a demo and an EP. Yeah. And then we ended up playing shows with your band, False Prophet. That's how we became friends. Yeah. And through so music. We know each other through music. Through music first. That's yeah. weird. And then I, somehow I, I found out yeah, I, you I think, were into filmmaking. I don't remember how. Uh, I think there was just... Because I was a junior, and I remember junior year, like, I think I wasn't crazy into... F like, I, I, my interest was is straight up gearing towards, like, video production and all that. But I don't think... I think it wasn't until senior year where I was like, okay, I'm going to go to film school. I think after I graduate, I think I'm going to go study. No, no, I wasn't sure, but I think because I went to community college for like four years. So I actually just knew that I was like, I'm just going to spend my first uh, couple years doing uh, school, like the GEDs, and then go into like film and, and then I'll have time to like really know what I want. And But yeah, you had caught me right around the time where I was talking to people. I was like, yeah, I love, I love, I want to shoot. I want to shoot stuff. I want to do video. Yeah. And I remember you're like, oh, well, I, uh, Ashlyn, the whole thing. We talked about that last yeah. week, too, I think. I keep bringing her up. It's so funny, though. Whatever. Hey, I'll yeah, send yeah. her this clip. I sent her a clip. Uh, I sent Ashlyn. The, the shout out Ashlyn. That's my ex-girlfriend from years ago. Yeah. Um, whole other. I sent her a clip era. of the last podcast telling her. I DM'd her. I was oh, like, yeah? I was like, That's cool. um, I was like hey, uh, I we mentioned you in the podcast, and then she responded. Like shout out. She she responded with, uh, "Thank you for letting me know." <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> no, <Nah, she, laughs> <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just kidding. She 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 was actually um, she was flattered. She was like, "Oh haha, ha, that's uh, that's funny. Thank you for letting." That's me cool. Know. That's cool. Yeah. You guys had some. You guys had like, yeah. You guys. Uh, you guys had some good bases. Yeah, I remember. I remember when when uh when Miguel would riff off of like our base yeah our bass lines or whatever his would be have more like a psychedelic vibe yes like yes a, you know what i mean it's but, that west coast 626 but Omar has got more of like a kind of like a 90s punk like yeah. almost pop punky sort of vibe you know what's like, crazy you can almost exactly kind of like pinpoint yeah, that style distinct. difference yeah, yeah that's cool though that's cool but that's why sick. they but that's why uh, it's so interesting yeah. seeing like crew dudes evolve cuz i've seen you guys since yeah since fucking albert but yeah, dude. Five, so we've had five different bass players. Yeah, that's crazy. That's half of ten. That's two twos and a one, dude. W w I feel like usually it's drummers that are being sought after, right? Yeah, but we're just lucky to have. Right? Yeah, I you think guys. When you have a close friend who plays drums, and you get lucky. Yeah, yeah, they just stick around. Dude, we had troubles. Uh, we had troubles. We had trouble. Uh, we always had trouble with singers. 
Um, really? It was just hard to get one to stick or... Like what band? Uh, dude, all of them. Why don't you hit me up? Because you were doing Crew Dudes. I'm not, and dude, this one band. I ain't too busy. <laughs> I, dude, my, but, but my foot's asleep. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why. It, as long as another project is different enough. Yeah, like right? Kids, then I'd be down. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, man. But singers, um, yeah, yeah. Singing, well, music, playing music is always a... Uh, it's crazy. It's fun. and yeah. it's, it's That's amazing. crazy. We just ended up talking about music this mm-hmm. podcast. Just our fucking project. Yeah, that's that's wild. But like, I don't know more. It's like a good really primer like. though, cause like, <laughs> it is true, man. If uh, like uh, we did meet through music, we did meet through music. Sorry, and we have like that whole past that we have to pull from. That's always fun. Um, I think it's always cool when you're able to kind of like bring in your other musical or creative like stuff like into, cause this is a whole nother thing, you know, like planet planet yeah and uh my band crew dudes were actually scoring exactly so yeah the the tv show that we're working on aside from this the four pilots that we shot yeah um my band crew dudes are we're scoring the music you guys are gonna write in the music yeah. yeah and i was doing that today actually yeah i was writing the music that's cool <laughs> that's funny yeah. i was actually telling my dad today because he's like hey how's the how's the show going you guys almost done and then I was just like, no, we still got to go through this. And I was telling him all about it. And I was like, yeah, and then we're going to write the music. And it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm doing. And it's it's rough. That's so hard to it's do. A hard, no, no, no. And yeah. that's what I was telling my dad. I was like, dad, it, it, it takes a while. Yeah. Like, it's not. Because I'm trying to make the music kind of like a cartoon. Like, yeah. if the characters, like, object something, like, no, fuck that. In the background, there's going to be like, wow, wow. But, and like, it, a punk version. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, th- and there's, like, little, like, uh, uh, there's just little, like, tinkering. Like just like uh, random stuff. I I think I was watching um, clips from I don't know. It may have been like Home Alone or just something. But I remember hearing just little things that I never noticed, and I was like, "Those are cool." Like little guitar, like actual using guitar and drums like for stings like stings and, and stuff like that. I yeah. feel like it's kind of like a little lost uh, lost yeah. art. I don't know. Yeah, but it, it's it's fucking tough. No, but it's cool. Yeah, exactly. So music plays a huge part into like if anything, it's a for me, I've o- I always uh, try to remind myself it's like uh, my upbringing, like uh, playing music, being punk, and and all that, like was a is a huge influence on my style of like anything I do. And I think how like the the punk scene that we were involved in, it had this like DIY sort yeah. of thing to it. You know, it's all just do it yourself type of shit. Yeah, it's super making our own music, releasing our own music, and doing it in our own way. And I think we sort of like. Coming from that, we brought that here into yeah. filmmaking and content creation. Yeah, where we just do this the way we want to fucking do it. You know, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's punk rock, dude. It's punk as fuck, man. Yeah, you kind of you kind of have to like kind of let go of the ego a little bit. Just be like, yeah. hey, fucking, just do whatever you need to do to yeah, get it done. Dude, who cares, man? Yeah, yeah. Who cares? Yeah, dude. Like th- this. This is the greatest example. Yeah, this. These are fucking ski masks. Yeah, these are ski masks. If you've ever, if you've ever, uh, if we you've just, ever wondered. Yeah, we just don't have any like uh, foam. Yeah, um, but this looks cool. Coverings. You know what's funny? What I always notice is that on our thumbnails, it looks like we have like different colored I don't socks think it, over our dicks. Yeah. <laughs> is that what? <laughs> it looks. Oh, uh, exactly I was gonna say like they that. just look like socks over mics, but yeah. The, no, it looks like we got dicks. fucking. We got dicks in our faces right now. Yeah. We got our own dicks in our faces. I know they're they're a little. I, I remember seeing them and I'm like, I don't know if people are gonna know exactly what the fuck these are. Like. Uh, no, nah, yeah, dude. During every edit, I I would look at these and, and be like, like, people are not really gonna know yeah. what these are. But yeah, they're they're different colored ski masks. No, we're just and there's I mean, look, we're we're not a uh, rich assholes. We hey man, d- just cause just cause someone's rich doesn't mean they're an asshole. We make do with what we got. That's what I was gonna. That's straight up. We're not rich assholes. You motherfucker might end up being rich doing off of this shit. Yeah, yeah. I, or I, I, might end up being rich off of doing this shit. I'm thinking about like. Fucking rich. I'm just kidding. I just said rich assholes. You just say rich people. All right, all right. All I'm right. sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, why does it always? <laughs> anyway. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. How would you like? How how could we end this in well, the way you'd be satisfied? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I don't even know where this this went. I don't know. Where this I have is no going. idea what it went. No idea. I don't think they know either. Yeah. But it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This. I think Not gonna lie. I. uh yeah, I, I, uh, I'm a little high. You're ready to go. You're ready. You're sleepy. I am sleepy. <laughs> I, uh, I am sleepy. No, but you're a little. Uh, I want you to finish. I was a little high coming here. Were you a little high coming? Yeah, here? of course. No, no, I'm no. pretty sober. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You. Twenty-nine days to be exact. Twenty-nine, twenty-nine. Yeah, 29, 29. Anyway, I caught the fly. Fuck luck. yeah. Podcast is coming to an end. 
And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking get out this bitch. All right, guys. Thank you again for tuning in to the PP podcast, the Planet Planet podcast. This was episode five. We were going to do five podcasts, like a video audio podcast or audio video podcasts and then work on K night. But I think we yeah. can do them both at the same time. Okay. So we do continue doing the podcast, but I, I do want to have a guest on the show for the next podcast. And do we have that or do we know? I'm kind of thinking it might be either Brantendo 64 yeah. or it might be, uh, it might be, uh, my cousin Bobby. Oh, right. Know. Bobby. Or Anthony Solis on it. Yeah. Whoever, 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 can whoever here, show up, whoever shows up, whoever we can get in here, we'll have next time. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the PP podcast, the Planet Planet podcast. Again, his name is Axel X Jimenez, and that is Daryl. We'll see you next time. Have a cozy, wonderful night. Bye-bye.